What's up, everybody? Welcome back to baseball right here on youtube.com slash Rex. My name is Sean, and I have just recently upgraded to Windows 11, which for some reason is giving OBS trouble on the, like, the audio bars. It does not look correct, but I did a test video, um, and it sounds okay, so we're going to just cross our fingers and hope that everything's fine. I may just need to upgrade OBS, but I'm also terrified that that's going to break everything. So I'm going to try and get through the recordings that I need to get through today, and at the end of the day, or tomorrow... Uh, when I have a day where I have a little more freedom to fix broken shit, I will fix it then. Sound like a plan? Sound like a plan. That just gives you a heads up. If the audio gets weird or wonky or things are kind of broken, um, that's what it is. Upgraded to Windows 11. Don't want to break OBS. Looks weird when I'm looking at it, but the video sounded fine. So, eh, hope. Fingers crossed. We are 2-0 against this Texas Rangers squad in this series. We have pushed them to 9-9. and We have gotten ourselves to 11-7. and And most importantly, we're tied for first in the American League West. We're 6-4 and over our last 10. And we're on the cusp of an opportunity to open a big boy 36-card pack that has an extra sticker attached that uh, I don't need. This is what we are going to open if we win series or sweep series, excuse me. So we'll uh, we'll try for that today. Calendar looks like this. You get baseball today. You get baseball tomorrow and uh, Saturday and Sunday, but not on Monday because the Mariners have a day off. If you'd like to watch those games, the rest of this homestand, we're going to head into a nine game uh, road trip. You can scroll down, subscribe and ring that bell. So you're notified when I post new videos every day, 6 a.m. and 7 p.m. Mariners baseball, 7 p.m. Chris Flex, he is taking on Kyle Cody. Kyle Cody, no record, but a 6-4-3 ERA. Chris Flex, an 0-1 with a 3-9-3 ERA. Played pretty well in the last game. Gave up a ton of hits. Survived those hits, so that was good news. Um, but we did give up a run or two here. or We gave up two runs, one here, one there. Just played well enough, though, to win the game. Probably need to cash in more runs on offense, but... I mean, we definitely need to cash four runs in on offense. We also need to make sure that we are... Uh, what am I trying to say here? Oh, Dylan Moore is an 81. He can play. I want Evan White. Evan White's a pretty severe reduction. He's just... The contact. Uh, maybe that's the difference. The contact is the difference. Uh, you know what? We'll leave it. We'll jump on in. I've already done one test video. I'm trying to speed through everything now. Um, what was I saying? Got to cash in more runs. We had a ton of base runners that we left on, uh, but we did get out of the pickles that we needed to. So it's kind of like a, feels like kind of a wash, you know, I, I would rather, I would rather leave a ton of base runners on and win a game by two runs than get a bunch of runs like we did in the Houston game and still lose. So I don't necessarily want to be in a in a shootout, but, you know, I don't know. I'm so distracted by the stupid audio thing. They've already won the series and now they can really leave their mark. It's all about having confidence. And that's what we came up short in the series against Houston. The biggest issue that we faced yesterday was the gargantuan number of pitches I threw between like the fifth, sixth and seventh innings of yesterday's game. Throwing like at least 50 pitches with a punch out a real strikeout artist singing. Who's our starter yesterday? I know they're concerned about his mechanics. Maybe he's giving something away to the other side. Hmm. I can't remember who the between starts. Look for him to have a good one today. All right, ready to get on. Was it Marco? Isaiah Kiner Fuller. Was Marco the starter yesterday? You know what I can do? Reuse my own footage and click on that. Do on that. And a pitch. Oh, oh, oh! I'm talking. I'm talking. Stop talking. It's me talking over me. Please be quiet. Be quiet. I needed the audio for earlier, but I don't need it now. It was Marco Gonzalez. We threw a ton of pitches with him. Should be paying attention to the uh, the lineup time. We've been through the lineups. I think that was maybe the larger part of the problem. And when you've but got we'll a see. strike thrower like this guy on the mound, you can't be... I forgot that that would be the uh, the Texas one. The umpire is generally going to give him the benefit of the doubt. So you got to go up there, understand what's in his repertoire, be aggressive in what you can handle. 
Okay, so we have Tom Murphy calling a lot of circle changes again already. That's not good. Flexen's windup is much slower. So that's not good. Hopefully it doesn't provide too much of an issue. And here's Corey Seeker to hit. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. Swing at a bouncer. And he picks it up. Oh. I was trying to get there because that would have been an easy turn for out number three. Ah, instead, Crawford will make an easy, easy play over there. And that'll be out number three. All right. Solid first inning here. Bottom of the first, and stepping in for the Mariners, Adam Frazier. Leading off for the Mariners, the second base. All right, we're up at that vet vet veteran, veteran batting. And here it comes. That one missed. The Rangers nine and nine. We are eleven and seven. We were tied with them when we entered this series at uh, nine and seven apiece. There's the strike. The That's fine. The zone can be very effective. Just gotta keep we are facing a four seam, a slider, a circle change, and a two seam fastball. Next Ooh, is that was a nice strike. slider. I thought that was going to be way outside and I was going to miss it, but. Early on that. stays alive not a great swing can't afford to get into auto swing mode here oh that would be auto swing mode drop drop how did he overrun that what the hell happened I'm really not and that one is lifted in the air that unfortunately is just a very nice uh, fly ball. But a nice long at bat there, seven pitch at bat. That'll help. It's weird because the audio thing like looks normal for like chunks and then like it like slows down a lot. But the CPU usage isn't any greater than it usually is. So that's where I was. Uh, Getting a little worried. That was a big swing on a circle change. Did I say his pitch is four seam slider, circle change, two seam fastball? Oh, that's not what I wanted at all. I mean, it's a slow dribbler, but. Here tonight, an efficient start to the home first, two away. Next to hit, Kyle Lewis. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. That's fine. That's fine. No swing at that. Good pitch right there. Tied him up on the hands. If I'm out there on the bump, I'm going right back in there. Next offering misses. And that's ball one. Got me looking, yeah, darn it. Good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nobody left for Seattle. Scoreless after one. That one froze me a little bit. I was looking slider, looking circle change out of the zone. and There we go. Four seam. It's a one one. That's the difference so far between yesterday and today. 
when I'm well, okay, just kidding. I was gonna say the difference is that I I when I was missing pitches. This one pretty average size strike zone, but the book on him is that it sort of moves around. Fuck me, come on, dude. There we go. I was about to compliment myself. I missed the first pitch, that first four-seam fastball. Missed that a little bit. And it, it it dropped down into the zone, and then I sailed one and pulled one too far. It's like, that sucks. That's okay. That's all right. We did turn some double plays yesterday. That was very nice. Seventy-six speed. Next there we go. In for a strike. Next one just misses. It's I put my thumb on Y. Just in case he tried to. The next pitch misses, and it's too early on that one. See, this is the there's here's the issue. Letting these batters stick around at the plate. Two two now. Stays alive. Right hander kicks deals. Swing and attacker that rolls foul. Second inning here, no score. Next offering upstairs. These first two hitters really making him work out there. Already 14 pitches this inning. That should have been a walk. He lets that one go. It's a Base on balls. Yeah, there's ball four. Okay, he just let that one go. That one was just an awful pitch. Oh my fucking god. On the ground could be two. Goes to second for one, and that's two. Wow, I am surprised I got two on that one. Wow, that'll work. For me, that's one Holy of the shit! Plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. Up next for the Rangers, Adolis Garcia. Now fly ball to right a little center. surprised this is Hanniger's ball, but that's all right. Hanniger. The important part is that we get out of the inning. Already Texas. weathering Hanniger some traffic here. No Through a walk on the uh, on first. Ugh. The issue is getting so far. The issue is getting to two strikes, right just not putting them away. Hanniger. Way too many additional pitches and pitches that like. It's equally annoying, but it's it's one thing to have a guy like foul off a bunch, and it's a different thing to just fucking miss the zone. The pitch. That one misses one and oh. And I was missing the zone a lot. Yeah, there's a foul. Ball. That's a miss. That's a fucking miss right there. Holy shit. That was a home run. Should have been a one nothing lead. Righty to the plate. Pumps it a strike. He must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this at bat. The next offering. Yeah, we actually saw a better pitch to hit. The one that I made contact with. The pitch. When I missed on that one too. Shoot. 
He is peppering the zone right where I want to see the ball, and I'm just not not connecting. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. That's two. That is two pitches that I have thrown down the left field line. Yeah, the right hander deals. And a swing and a miss. So down on strikes, one down. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two strikes. Damn it. That is a that's a hugely terrible at bat. We had a really rough at bat with uh Hanniger the other day. So the the previous pitch that I had hit, he threw two sliders in a row. He missed high, and I was looking for it. Missed low, should have been looking looking for it more. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing to one. That was a bad swing. Nothing here in the bottom of the second. Next offering upstairs. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Next offering in the dirt, and it's two and one. That one the other way. That's a hey, that'll work. That'll work. Poke it through. Get a single, huh? I believe we have Ty France. Or, uh, excuse me, uh, Abraham Toro. I was looking right at Ty France. There we go. Here's Toro. Now for Seattle, Abraham Toro. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. That one fouled off. I wanted that one. No score here in the second. Fuck off. There we go. That's a good take. That's a good take. I mean, the swings aren't terrible. Likely still a 1-2 count. Maybe a 2-1 count in my favor. That's a good swing. That one I'm, I'm good with. Don't want to get called out there. That's a good swing as well. This guy's seen two change-ups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. One and two now. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Getting some contact here. He's peppering this low zone. Next that one's outside. outside. Good news, making this guy throw some pitches here. Oh, okay. And there's two away. It it clipped on the thing. I thought maybe a foul ball, but and up next for that's okay. Fuck. Fuck. Pitch downstairs, one and one. France leads off first with two down to the inning. And that one goes straight to the backstop. I hit B. I hit to swing and the animation didn't allow me. Thanks, game. Ah. And now two and two. It's amazing to look up and see 88 miles per hour on that changeup. Back in the day, that was a pretty good fastball, but with high velocities these days, that speed differential is right where it needs to be. Damn it! The ball popped up. Simeon should have this one. Makes the catch, and that's the inning. One left for Seattle. I threw a lot of pitches in that one. No score. So that's good news. Kind of just trying to take something positive away from that inning. I'm not super thrilled with it. Um, I, my eyes got a little too big with the Toro power. However, we got enough foul balls to uh, to really extend that at bat. So that's all right. Foul ball. 
He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning, threw a lot of pitches. Left hand batter waits. And a foul ball. Biggest issue in the last inning might have been the two missed home runs for uh, Mitch Haniger. Chopped out in front of the plate. Tosses to first. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Batting up. The catcher. He's a. Today in my recommended videos on YouTube, there was a, somebody posted a video from of Mariners baseball from like 1994. I'm like, I don't need to watch old baseball. I don't need to watch. I watch a lot of sports already. I don't need to add 30 year old baseball to that. Uh, that thing. It was actually actually sometimes I would have um, when I worked at the when I'm when I worked at my office job sometimes I would just throw on like an old on the ground Frazier handles the um old like apple cups and stuff but that's like that's more like background noise not me just sitting in my free time while watching a 30 year old 30, 30 year old sporting event but I do think there's it like at least checking it out you know, obviously I'm watching the whole thing or whatever, but just kind of seeing the differences in the presentation is interesting. If they leave like commercials in, those are always cool. Frazier on the first in time. It's like a like deep seated memories of like, oh, remember when the sprint had the the pinfall? Remember that? Their old weird red diamond logo thing. Back here at the ballpark, except for the bottom of the third, and now the DH, Alberto Rodriguez. Alberto Rodriguez. He's been playing. I've been playing very well with him lately. His average was down in the low hundreds. Now it's uh, first on the Mariners. I do think it helps that he does not have power, so I don't really try. To hit home runs with him, I automatically move my thumb to the B. Ground ball to the right side. Okay. Picks it up on the first. Move it to the contact One swing and just go from the there. The so here's Murphy now. Murphy. It's on top of that one. Darn it. Just drove it right into the ground. Right. Not what I was looking for, but that'll uh, that'll work. We'll have Adam Frazier and J.P. Crawford coming up next. That was a miss. That's a miss I would qualify just because uh, that was right where I was looking. I was late on it. Thankfully, it went in my favor. But Let's see. we got to get him to throw some more pitches here. He's at 46 through two and a third. Murphy leads off first with one away. The worst thing I can do is give him double plays or easy, easy out. That's a good take right there. On the ground first. Hey, look at that. To second, there's one double play, and that'll do it for the inning. <laughs> On to inning number four. On cue. On fucking cue. God damn it. Welcome back. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, the Texas, Nick Solak. The designated hitter, Nick Solak. The wind in the pitch. And a good there pass. we go. There's a four-seam fastball in the one. zone. That's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. We were in some of those innings for so long yesterday, uh, like the fifth, sixth, and the seventh, from a defensive perspective that I was like, I was confused. I was like, it's the sixth inning? Like, we're hitting a point where, like, the video recording, like, that the, the time is like, oh, it should be, should be like the eighth. It's like, no, we're in the sixth because you have thrown 25 pitches in this, uh, this inning and you cannot get a fucking out. The play. Corey Seager. 
I had a similar feeling. You get like a feel for like where games should be as far as like the recording time and stuff. Had that feeling with last year's game pretty well where it was like, oh, in the in the third inning it should be like right around the 30 minute mark or whatever. I think this game goes a little bit quicker. I think it puts the hybrid thing on the hybrid uh, presentation I think that's a that's a big difference could also be why we don't see any Heidi Watney bobbled it we got it we got it we're good Good job of knowing how much time he had there. The well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Here is Marcus Simeon. In there. There we go. Strike one. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yeah, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but... He gets soft contact and he gets out. The 0 2. Got him. Got him looking. There we go. That's the kind of inning we need here. Enough to do it for the Rangers. And we're still knotted at zero. Thank you. Wasn't nice. Oh, I'm this guy. Yeah. Welcome back. Bottom of the fourth, and stepping in for the Mariners, J.P. Crawford. For the Mariners, not shortstop. And the right hater back to work. Crawford. And first God damn it, that slider. That fucking slider is so enticing up here. Fuck me. That is the second time I have swung at something so far out of the zone with Crawford. Oh, JP, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And now the center fielder, Kyle Lewis. He's old for one. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Line drive. Drop. There we go. There we go. There we go. Pepper that opposite field a little bit, huh? Hey, hey, I'm not, I'm not about that shit. You fucking kidding me? Now batting Mitch Hanniger. In there, that's fine. Two seam can go. Lewis, the base runner at first with one out. And he's Ooh. down on two as he swings through it. Oh. Right here. Just oh. Seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. Oh, God. Him out. Two away. Well, when you throw the same pitch back to back, that's how you want to do it. Set him up in the strike zone, the baseman, then extend a little bit from there and see if you can get him to chase. Nicely done with the slider right there. And now it's going to be Ty France, Cody, with a move. Oh, first. God, Lewis. That's a that's a disappointing. That's a real disappointing at bat. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. I'm thinking about it too much. Righty delivers, and it's one and one. That's out to center field. No trouble Ooh, here. darn it. it darn it. That's the second, like, good, good contact fly ball. We go to the top of the fifth. Willie Calhoun stands in here. Leading off to the Rangers. The left fielder, number 25. Willie Calhoun. Okay, well... 
We're back up at the Hall of Fame difficulty, and we're facing immediately facing a uh, a batter that we had a tough time getting out the first time around. First offering is fouled off. That was a bad pitch. That one was a bad pitch on me. Soft contact in the air, and that one gets down fair ball. Hmm. Okay, that's all right. No big deal. Hits allowed so far tonight, Boog, so I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that This is our second time through the lineup here. Top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. Nathaniel low up to hit. That hits the dirt. My timing is all off. We've had just like... Next offering is in for a strike. On the ground, two ball. Frazier. Gathers, I just grabbed the one. one Make sure to grab the out. Up next, the ring. The next up for Texas, Adolis Garcia. Garcia. That one's in there on one. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. This to center field. Lewis coming on. Grabs it on the run. I got very lucky there. That was that impact thing. I thought maybe I would have to dive, but I didn't know if I would be able to get, to get it timed up correctly. However, if it had hit the ground, I don't know that he would have gone to third anyway. So it was kind of a... It was a best-case scenario for me. That's a fucking beautiful pitch right there. Oh, I'd love to see that more consistently. I don't like it. Okay. Okay. Well... We threw one. one good one. Well, they've kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. But you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. That'll work. Fuck Coming yeah. Up. Fuck Coming yeah. Up, Woo. No Let's go, baby. Getting out of some jams here. My timing has not been great. A little surprised to see him go up top like that, but. Back at, Park, and now it's uh, at least a swing up top like that. We had a huge nine pitch at bat. Look at everything peppered low. I was wondering if maybe he would try to get cheeky up top. We punished it the other day. I died my eyes. Uh, my eyes lit the fuck up. Look at this ball coming in. And a pitch. Popped up. Low. Moving under it. And out number one on the grab. Oh, that, that was, was the pitch, pitch I wanted, crush. right where I wanted it. He missed, it right there, and I'm telling you, missed, he missed, with himself, wasn't so looking. Now in the box. I was looking for something that was going to drop in. Next offering is Fuck me. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. And he deals. And a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. And there's a the ball. There's a swing and a drive. Can't get there. Hey, that'll work. Now he turns and heads for second. And he's there. Just enough speed to get to two. I actually thought that was going to be another one of those long fly outs. Absolutely ripped. That one felt good. 11 off the bat. 
And I'm pretty sure it started oh, my whistle eye. after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog. And these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always All right. so much fun to see what numbers pop now up. Batting, the One down. Hitter. Alberto oh, Rodriguez. Oh. Up next for the Mariners. Oh, Stay at third, stay at third, stay at third, stay at third. Stay at third. Runners at the corners now with one away. No reason to send him. That got in real quick. Rodriguez really coming through here. And he's already singled in this game. Ooh, 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 gross. Runners are at the corners, one away. Settle down. Hit hard, base hit. One run is in. Rodriguez. That's a two. That's a one. That's a one out of like. Don't even know how to talk. I'm so excited. Tom fucking Murphy. There you go. He had a finger extended. That was. It looked like it was a finger. One finger. We're starting with this already. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. A two run double. That one Oh, this is a bad. That one's on me. That one's 100% on me. Should not have done that. Should not have done that. I, mm. If I held, if I held the guy who was faster at third, you don't send the guy who's slower at third. Two outs. Here's a strike. Some activity in the bullpen for Texas. Spencer Pat. That's okay. That's all right. Getting loose as well. And it is two and one. Darn it! That, that is a, it's a miss. It definitely sucks that that was an out, but I should have I should have held him in third. Next off, Ooh! Clips the zone. Count even at Damn two. it! They are running this guy out of gas. Oh, I that should not have been the end of the inning that's okay that's all right you know uh for the most part the base running blunders from last year haven't made that consistent of a return so it it's it's a lot easier to swallow when you're not doing it a ton you know what i mean like back in seattle here's jose trevino this is a guy who's in the line of first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. When you talk about preventing runs from being It's scored, a big miss because a big Kyle Lewis was next. Kyle Lewis on deck could have had I guess with with the Crawford out off the field when you play really good could have had especially at a premier position. A one out or a two out, excuse me. Runner on third. Ripped into right. Oh, 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 oh. tip of the cap to Hanniger. Holy shit. He tried to stay on his feet, not wanting to dive and maybe have it go by him, but the lunge at the end kind of sent him barrel rolling. Great effort, though, and a nice job to hang on to the ball throughout the catch. Uh, lucky that I, that was not crushed. The pitch. Here's a strike. The O two. And that's outside. One and two. Okay. Love to see someone swing over something here. And a pop up right side. France on his way over. 
Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Up the middle. That Crawford. takes care of Connor Falefa. Hell yeah. Now back. Two That's outs, base is empty. Here's Nick Solak. Solak. And first offering is fouled off. He's done a great job getting the first two outs. Want to get this number two hitter, get back in the dugout, to face three, four, five next inning. This one popped up. There we go, Frazier. There we go, Frazier. Let's go. Damn it. Mariners two and the Rangers nothing. Back down for the bottom of the six, and there's a new pitcher on the mound. Spencer Patton. And his job Number is to collect quick ball. outs and keep Spencer. his team within striking distance. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and a little Leading length up. out of this arm Mariners. coming out the of the bullpen. Fielder. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Lewis Whew. takes a ball here as he stands in now. Ooh, gross. Swing, gross, 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 gross. And a count one gross. And one. Four seam slider and a splitter. That's what we're looking at here with Spencer Patton. Oh my two. fucking god. Stop it. And the one two misses to even the count. I mean the swings aren't terrible. They're at least at the two pitches that are close to the zone. They're just really ugly looking swings. Just from a timing perspective. Squeeze on it. And there's one away. Now batting, right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. Now batting, Mitch Hanniger. First offering, misses the mark. Bullpen action for the Rangers. Brent Martin, the left-hander, up and throwing. Spores getting cranked up as well. Ripped on a line. Damn it. Damn it. The first baseman, number 23. And now the first baseman, Ty France. Ground ball up the middle. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. That was a very weird play there. The the third baseman. Abraham. Now the third baseman, Abraham oh. Toro. Two for eight in the series so far. Liners oh. at first. Shit, eat my fucking poop. One left for Seattle as they're unable to add God to damn their it. two lead. Eight hits and we have cashed in two runs. Fucking disgusting. Here at the ballpark, stepping in the slugging shortstop Corey Seager. Leading off for the Singy, you can't ask for anything more. Shortstop. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in. Oh shit! I don't have anybody in the bullpen. Gross. This is bad. Shit! Who did I use? Hold on, let me. God damn it. Who did I... Kazeo got the save yesterday. I used Steckenrider Rider as well. There's Castillo. Come on. Come on. Steckenrider. Rider. And I think I brought in... I think I brought in Sadler. So Sadler, Steckenrider. Rider. Hmm. You know what? We didn't use we didn't use Sadler much. We're gonna okay. We're gambling a little bit. We're on the third time through the lineup. as he glides to his left. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Holy shit! Now it's Marcus Simeon, one for two. It wasn't even a terrible pitch. It's just a very...
powerful dude. That's in there for strike one. Really Try and give our guys, I mean, they're ready. Early in at bats. He's thrown strikes on the first pitch to over 70% of the guys he's faced in this one. Next there we go. There we go. Strike. There we go. This one high in the air to left center. And Boom, Simeon there we go. All right. They are getting really good contact on him, so we got to pull him. We've got to pull him. The left fielder, Willie. Two outs, bases empty. Willie Calhoun stands in here. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle to base hit. All over that one right there. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. You know what? We're not going to fuck around. Probably should have put... I don't have very many left-handed... Oh, God. I have one left-handed pitcher, and it's Bashevitz. Um, We're going to bring in Sadler. We're going to bring in Sadler. It's fine. We're doing okay. Is done. I just... For the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. He pitched really well. Gave up four hits, they three hits. Over to a new arm. Casey Sadler. Sadler does have a one on one record, has blown a save. Nine innings pitched already, two ERA. Left handed batter is not, uh, not hitting anything against him, so maybe we can use that to our advantage. Okay. Not a good start. Way too early. Cannot do that in the game. I will get fucking destroyed. Yep. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. In there. There we go. Her ball in. Lowe is uh, 0 for 2 here. Next offering is in for a strike. Beautiful. That curveball was disgusting at kind of by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the walls. Gonna have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Next offering is foul back. Tying run at the plate. In the air to left center. Brings oh, Fraley. Fraley, thank you. Thank you, Fraley. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. Oh my god. Okay. He last pitched four days ago, so he should feel pretty fresh. I think we have all lefties coming up here. And welcome back. Set for the last half of the seventh. I'm sorry, we do not. I, that is uh, that's incorrect. Sinker slider, four seam, twelve six curve. We're gonna want to set up low in the zone here. Just kidding. He's gonna miss wide. Uh, we have we'll have Freely, Rodriguez, and then we will have Tom Murphy. So. And now the lefty. Pitches Ooh, in there. gross. Gonna count one and two. Next offering way off the plate. Next offering is foul back. Well, piece of it there. Oh, that four seam broke back into the zone in a way I wasn't anticipating. Shit, I thought. Thought it would be called a ball. And the batter now, Alberto Rodriguez. Bowling one now. 
Ooh, Rose. As he was out front that time. And now one and two. Right, all of them right in one little spot. To third, Connor Falefa collects, rolls across the diamond. Quick enough. All right, Tom Murphy, he gives us an advantage, a righty versus the lefty. He's also two for two, so. In there for strike one. Here's a high chopper. That is not what I wanted at all. Fuck you. God, what a good uh, what a good managing decision by the Rangers there to just bring in someone who throws a bunch of fucking garbage that I hate. Welcome back. Here's the center fielder. He threw five pitches. The center fielder. Adolis Garcia. Pitch. Backed off the plate that time. And fouled off. Right handed reliever. And a foul ball. Offering his foul back. There we go. Got him looking. I was worried that that was going to be one of those at bats, you know, where it's just I throw a bunch of shit, I cannot get him out. Great pitch to hit right there if you're looking for it, and kind of a gift at a two strike count, but sometimes you just get fooled and you got to tip your cap. Did not throw the third pitch, which is the sinker. We'll go ahead and throw that now, though. That one's in there on one. Thank you. Bounce to the left side. Toro collects it. Sends it to first. Two up, two down here at the top of the eighth. So I have Castillo on, or in the bullpen, as like a, an insurance man. He's going to come in if I need him to and just like fucking break some shit down. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. Late swing fouled off. And a pitch. Swing and a slow roll. Hey, we're going to end his hit streak. In of Suck it, nerd. And it's a one, two, well, I guess I shouldn't say we're going to end it. We, we have put it to bed at the moment. Down to Frazier, Crawford, Lewis. Lefty, lefty, and righty coming up. On the mound as we We're going to bring in a right-handed pitcher. Hasn't pitched in the last Josh three days. Spores. Back at T-Mobile Park, here's Adam Frazier. Leading up for the Mariners, the second baseman, Adam Frazier. Here comes a pitch. Oh, that was late. That was late. At the belt and fires. That misses. And Look at me learning. Trying to be better at this video game. And that one hit the Oh, first. damn. Damn. Low takes it to the bag. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. 
Now the number two hitter, J.P. Crawford. J.P. Crawford. First pitch doesn't find his own. Bullpen activity starting up now. Matt Bush preparing to come on if needed. And the 1 0. Oh, now this is blasted. Go, stay, stay, stay. Is it gone? Yeah, <laughs> JP. Woohoo. I've been wanting him to get a home run. Yes. Hell yes. Got to get him going. I love him. He's a great player. Well, I'm not really sure how he kept that fair. When you're out in front on a breaking ball like that, it's such a good chance that it's going to hook foul. But not this time. He kept the hands moving forward just long enough to sneak it inside that foul pole. So one out, nobody on. Still a save situation here. Kyle Lewis. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Almost some back-to-back -back jacks. Let's go. Line drive. Base hit. Base hit. Base hit. Base, 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 base. Knowledge. This pack looking pretty good to be open in this pack here. 36 cards. Of course, I'm doing it when I'm on my most time constraint. So now it's the Mariner cleanup hitter, Mitch Hanniger. Ooh, yeah. mm, gross. Stop. No. About uh, 15 minutes from now, we got a uh, Saints Row customization. Thing that they're doing um, the reaction video should be up as of yesterday hopefully that went up the actual Saints Row gameplay that I did for the first game the original 2006 game went up this morning or yesterday morning Wednesday morning uh, surprising I'm shocked that it went up and was not like blocked because of music Swings through that. Swung right under that one. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his no, swing and his approach just frustrating for him up there. If you strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick because word will get around the league in a hurry. France in the box with two gone. And yeah, takes a look at a called strike. one pitches outside ball one Lewis off of first with two away okay no we're good I thought I had a sneeze and then it like went away that's through there for a strike that was a sneeze's fault that's uh, that was a sneeze's fault Good eye right there. Kicks and fires. Cut on it. Oh, missed. got me on the slider. Should have been looking for it. Right there. That was a bad swing. But hey, JP Crawford, our main man. Last chance coming up here for the Rangers. Our shortstop. Hell yeah. Coming through. We're not gonna see a ton of home runs from him, but. When it's uh, when it's a pitch like that, we can take advantage of it. Still only scoring on three of the ten hits that we have, so that's bad. Paul Seawall will take over here, and he'll work on holding this lead. Number thirty-seven, Paul. Paul Seawall with a one and zero record in eight starts or eight games appearance, eight appearances, I should say. Uh, does have the blown save. Oh, God, what's going on? My nose. Driving me nuts. Today. Oh, 
Ugh. Stop, 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 stop. Settle down, settle down. That's better. That's better. We go to the ninth. Isaiah Kiner Falefa up to the plate. Leading off and a pitch. Just yes. yes. miss. Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Next off, we do have our guy Castillo. If things get wobbly, and I should not be afraid to use as many pitchers as possible to try and get this save, to get this win, to get this sweep. We got 36 beautiful baseball cards waiting for us to open them. Next pitch misses, and the count is two and two. The only Fuck. adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up... Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. Oh! Wow. His first um, the year, and they huh. The it's three Great. His first home run of the year. Fuck you. To finally come. God damn it. Come eventually, and I wouldn't be shocked to see him going a nice little run at the plate, hitting some balls out of the ballpark. Got that monkey uh, I bumped the microphone and I just almost destroyed everything. Not even, not even out of anger. I got up to you blow my nose. With that high fastball, then look how his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Absolutely crushed out there. Next, it'll be the Texas DH, Nick Solak. Here's a guy who's now been back. struggling so far Definitely this year. Good. It's only late yeah. April, but still so right. hoping he'll turn it around soon. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Take a moment. Blow your nose. Take a breath. Readjust your microphone. I bumped the very, like, bottom metal part. I, hmm, for him to be a 34 power and get that much on it is a little frustrating. Next one misses. Okay. That's ball two. Righty delivers. And a strike. There we go. Really did not want to throw a slider right over the heart of the plate. He's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. Should have gone two seam. Didn't matter. Got him. All right. One down. Here we go. Here we go. We're good. Everything's fine. We're subtle. We're, we're subtle. We're settled down. We're relaxed. There's a big swing right there. Outside, and it's a ball and a strike. This is the guy they turn to to get the most important outs of the ball game, but they're going to make him work to get this save. Bounced up the middle. Whips it to first. Two down. Now only one. Two down. Remaining. Good two seam action right there, running away from the, the batter. batter. Pulled over it. Got the ground out. Next to bat, the Texas cleanup hitter, Marcus Simeon, one for three. And the first pitch misses. That's for fine. One. That's fine. And that one fouled off. Gross. Better. 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 That's okay. You're still up in the ball game. Really good spot to be in right here. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball. That'll do it. Let's fucking go. The offense still struggling a little bit here in this uh, in this series, but got the wins. Came through in the clutch. Thumbs up. Getting some saves from my guys. We'll see if maybe Seawald is uh, competing for the top of the save leaderboard by the end of the season. Two run fifth, one more a solo shot in the eighth. Should have had more in the fifth. And that was a base running blunder, 100% a base running blunder. I goofed that up. I had held a faster guy previously. There it is right there. Um, 
Should have been Kyle Lewis up with two on, two out. Should have tried to do some more damage that way. I tried to get tried to get too cute. Tom Murphy held up way too long between second and third. If he gets a clean start, that's an easy score. But he stayed close because it might have been caught. Should have just let him advance to third and get it to a double. But that's all right. That's all right. Take. Improve. Meditate. Okay? Think about it. Chris Flexen, our player of the game and the winning pitcher, 6.2 innings pitched, three hits, three strikeouts, one walk, no earned runs. Kyle Cody is going to get the loss. Five innings pitched, seven hits, five strikeouts, two earned runs. Paul Sewald with his eighth save of the season. Uh, Isaiah Kiner Falefa, one for four, had the solo home run. Calhoun was two for two, had a walk in there, so he was perfect uh, at the plate. Um, and then I think somebody else had a hit somewhere in there, but they didn't list it. They instead listed Corey Seager and Nathaniel Lowe, who combined went 0 for 7. Seattle Mariners notable, J.P. Crawford, obviously a notable player. 1 for 4 with a home run, that solo shot in the 8th inning. Tom Murphy, 2 for 3 with a double, scored 2 runs on that. Adam Frazier, 1 for 4 with a double. Jake Fraley, 1 for 3 with a double and a run. 10 hits for the Mariners, that's a lot of hits. 3 runs for the Mariners, that's not great. Doesn't matter. The win is still good, so that is what counts. Um, that does it. That's uh, that's that's the game. That's the series. Hey, it turns out my microphone is not done there. Hold on. Hello? Is this does it work now? I don't know where I was. We're gonna open this pack of cards. Okay, so I gotta check that. I gotta go through. I didn't look at enough of this apparently. Um Kansas City Royals coming to town here. Uh Chris Bubbick. 0-1 with a 2.65. Take it on Justice Sheffield. 1-1 one one with a 5.89. Yikes. So let's uh, let's crack these cards open. The Kansas City Royals are 8-11. The Mariners 12-7. Get you updated on the standings here in just a bit. Uh, final three games of the homestand coming your way starting tomorrow through the weekend. And these cards are not opening. All right. No better way to open baseball cards than with sweaty, greasy fingers. Um... We might have something cool there in the middle. If you could see the, the difference there. We're going to start with Keegan Akin. Akin. Keegan Akin. There you go. Orioles pitcher. We have the uh, we have Turner, Solo, and Harper. The batting average leaders in the National League. There you go. Liftoff. Uh, the Houston dugout routine. This terrible team that we have to see a bunch, Yuli Gurriel. That might be the man that absolutely annihilated us. Oh, you know what? I don't know. Who was it? Huh. Okay. I was hoping he for it. Oh, we got a fantastic card here. I like this a lot. Harrison... Harrison Bader, bam, look at that sweet, uh, sweet diving, you think he made that catch? I'd hope so, Jesus Lazardo. I believe we've seen him previously, I don't think we saw him on the Marlins, I think we saw him on a different team, I want to say Oakland, well, maybe his stats are on the back, it was, it was, uh, it was uh, indeed Oakland, okay, there you go, Trey... Ambergsy. I'm not sure how to pronounce that last name. I apologize. That's a rookie card. Probably a good one to hold on to. Lucas Giolito. Hell yeah. Love this photo. Love this pose. Big fan. Big fan of it. It looks like he's in a kick line, but he's actually just throwing a pitch. Buster Posey. We got a nice action shot here. There you go. He's probably just throwing the pitch back. Throwing the pitcher the ball back. 
not doing anything interesting at all. Just like a really good like snapshot. Chris Kimbrell. This looks terrible. I don't know how well it translates like on camera. Uh, in person, this looks like a bad Photoshop. Like there's something about the lighting. His body doesn't look correct. I don't, I don't know. That might be, maybe it's the field of dreams game, but this looks like a fake card. That looks like a fake person. Uh, Colin Moran, he's putting a lot of effort into an underhand throw. Look at that face. That's, look at that effort. I really got to throw it. <sighs> All right, we'll flip here. You Darvish. For the San Diego Padres. We got to be tortured by him twice in a row. <laughs> because he played for the Cubs for MLB The Show 20. And then he played for the uh, the Padres, like in that card. Um, he played for the Padres for MLB The Show 21. So we got we got demolished by him twice. We've seen a lot of you, Darvish, in uh, non-season gameplay. Martin Perez? Nice. That's kind of a standard pitching shot, but I, I still like it. Here we have a less exciting one, Mitch Keller. Less exciting pitching pose, I mean. I do love the yellow with the black for Pittsburgh. I hate it for the Steelers, but something about the, the script with the numbers looks great on the Pirates uniform. Maybe it's because I just hate the fucking Pittsburgh Steelers. Slugger reunion. Hometown friends catch up during pregame. I just would like you to know that I'm fighting through hand cramps to give you this a fantastic coverage of baseball cards. My hand, my hand is cramping, Mrs. Puff. Make it stop. Mitch Moreland, this is an incredible green. That is an incredible green for Oakland. The hat doesn't match. You got a little bit of the Minnesota Vikings issue that they had for years where their jerseys looked incredible, but their helmet was like just off. That is such a nice green. Holy shit. Freddie Galvis for the Philadelphia Phillies. Another fantastic color combination. I really like that. The baby blue looks good. I don't know exactly what that, like, that red would be. It's not red. It's not like a crimson. It's kind of, I don't know. But it's, it's, whatever it is, it's nice. Ooh, got kind of a, a fun sparkly card here. Ouch. Maybe that was the problem. I needed to pop my knuckle. Ooh, look at that. There you go. I should, I need to get, uh, I need to get more sleeves. I'll probably get some frame rate, frame rate merch sleeves for some of this stuff. Chipper Jones. This is uh, it's kind of an old, oh, this is similar to the, uh, the other cards we've been opening. Yeah. 35, not quite 87, I guess, but Chipper Jones. It's got kind of a nice. Nice reflective, like, stamp there. His hat looks kind of... I don't know, maybe it's just the lighting. Then we have Jose Ramirez. Rom no, Ramirez. Yeah, there's an eye in there. Stars of the MLB. This is one of those kind of nice... There you go. Boom. Exciting. Playing for the Guardians. Again, the worst name change in sports. Uh, I want to say we already have this card, Chris Bryant. And by we, I mean me. All right, we're back to uh, back to some normal. Hey, look, who, look who it is. It's our good friend, Ramirez. There he is. He's back. He, uh, let's see. He hit here and he's running here. He's so fast. He changed shirts in the middle of uh, in the middle of his run. Hey, we got a good one. A Mitch Haniger. That's what you want to see. You want to see a Mariners. That is the Sunday. It's like the Sunday cream with the, the blue and the yellow. That's a good one to hold on to right next to that John Olerud. Uh, Ramel Tapia. Love when the runners lose their helmet. Absolutely love when base runners just don't have... They start with a batting hat. It's gone by second base. Love it. G-Man Choi, they are using their old Devil Rays uh, color scheme and, and uh, logo. Looks nice. 
That's a good, that's a good hat logo. It's a good hat design. Uh, now we go to a boring one, but a good, good player. Victor Reyes. You might remember him from the first four games of the season where he utterly miser- made me miserable. Fuck God. Joey Gallo. The Yankees can suck it. All right, there we go. Did that. Moving on. Flipping back over. Uh, Dom Nunez. We got a few Rockies here in this uh, back half. There you go. This one looks kind of fake, too. Not as fake as the other one, but, like, something about it just looks weird. Starling Marte. This, maybe it's the lighting. This green doesn't look quite as good. Like, it's like they have two different green shirts, and this one's just not quite there. Could be the lighting, could be the exposure. This one looks like it's pretty zoomed in. Future stars. Chaz. uh, Chaz, sorry. Uh, Jazz. Kissholm? Jazz Kissholm. Great first name. Big fan. Excellent pose. I think they had to go back a couple of frames. Pretty sure he grabbed his dick. That was probably a really good crotch grab. They can't put that on a baseball card. These are for kids. These are kid friendly. These are like an E10 plus, you know. Can't be an M. Sonny Gray pitching for the Reds. We just got the Reds holographic the other day. Uh, the logo. There you go. Tommy LaStella. Looking pretty nice there. Bam. Oh, a Baltimore Orioles. Looks like it was as a break card. This is a good use of a break card. That's a really good use of it. Like, full extension. Kind of looks fake. That's a rookie card. Uh, Minnesota meetup. Otani and uh, Medea catch up during pregame. That's a cool, that's just a cool, fun shot and story. Uh, Shout out to the Ford endorsement in the back. This meetup brought to you by Ford. Not trying to, like, blind his, block his face up. There's Otani in the spotlight, as he should be. That's pretty cool. We got a Mariner on this one. Cole, Flexen, uh, and Matt's win leaders in the American League. Yankee, a Mariner, and a Blue Jay. There you go. Uh, we got an Angels high five. Two guys that might never see the playoffs. We got uh, Mike Trout. And Shohei Otani. I highly recommend going and watching the uh, the Otani um, secret base. Uh, what was it called? Fumble Dimension. That's what it's called. Tyler Stevenson sliding in. This is another excellent use of the break card. Full extension there. Some kind of a metal thing there. Uh, tops. Something. I don't even know. There you go. That's a cool card. I like this card. All right. There you go. That's all 36 of them. Got some interesting polls there. That was pretty fun. Hopefully I didn't goof anything up over here. Uh, is it good? Why is that labeled wrong? Anyway, doesn't matter. That is today's game. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. We got a sweep of the Angels. We're feeling good. We're 12 and 7. Five and one on this homestand so far with three games to go. So we have uh, solidified a winning homestand here. Hopefully we can keep the good uh, the good energy flowing through the next three games. Get at least a series win and perhaps maybe even another sweep. I have one more of these big 36 card packs so I can afford one more sweep before I have to go buy some more. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll play for another card pack tomorrow. Play to get... Uh, a little further ahead in the standings. As you can see here, half a game ahead of the Astros um, at 12 and 7. The Astros obviously had a day off yesterday, and we've slumped the Rangers all the way back down to fourth and put them a game under 500. So, a very successful series for the Mariners on all fronts. Hopefully, you enjoyed. Again, uh, thank you so much for watching. Scroll down, subscribe, ring that bell, do all that good stuff. We'll see you tomorrow at 7 p.m. for more baseball right here on youtube.com slash Rex. Goodbye, go sports, and go Mariners.